The cell cycle is the life of a cell from the time it is first formed from a dividing parent cell until its own division into two cells. The cell cycle has three main phases composed of interphase, mitosis, and cytokinesis. In the following pictures, we will show you the stages of mitosis using gummy worms to depict chromosomes and jelly beans to depict centrosomes. The first and longest stage of the cell cycle is interphase, which is also known as the growth period. In interphase, the cell prepares for cell division by copying its DNA. The next stage is prophase. In prophase, chromosomes are replicated and the chromatin fibers become more tightly coiled. After prophase comes prometaphase. In prometaphase, the nuclear envelope fragments and centrosomes begin moving to opposite poles, which allows for the formation of spindle fibers. Metaphase comes after prometaphase. In metaphase, chromosomes all form in a straight line at the metaphase plate and attach to the spindle fibers. Next comes anaphase. It is the shortest stage of mitosis. In anaphase, sister chromatids separate and become their own chromosome, moving away from the metaphase plate. Here, in telophase, two daughter nuclei form in the cell. This division of one nucleus into two genetically identical nuclei completes the mitotic phase of the cell cycle. Cytokinesis occurs after telophase when the parent cell forms two independent but identical daughter cells, each containing the nuclei formed during telophase. All the stages of mitosis are shown here. Mitosis is important because it is the way cells are made identically from parent cells. For every one cell that goes through mitosis, two identical daughter cells are created. It is also how DNA is given from one cell to another. Without mitosis, life would not be possible. Now, in these pictures, we will show you meiosis. Meiosis is similar to mitosis, but different in the fact that it allows for genetic variation. This variation is possible because from one parent cell, four unidentical daughter cells are formed, each with half of their parent cell's information. Meiosis 1 starts off with one parent cell, and after prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, and telophase 1, two haploid daughter cells are made. Meiosis 1, prophase 1 is the first phase, just as it was in mitosis. During prophase 1, replicated homologous chromosomes pair and exchange segments. Unlike mitosis, synapsis of homologous chromosomes occurs in prophase 1 of meiosis. Metaphase 1 comes after prophase 1. In metaphase 1, chromosomes line up on the metaphase plate by homologous pairs and attached to the spindle fibers. Anaphase 1 comes next. In anaphase 1, each pair of homologous chromosomes separates, detaches from the spindle fibers, and moves away from each other on the metaphase plate. Here, in telophase 1, two nuclei are formed, each containing one half of the DNA from the original nucleus. These nuclei are different from each other and from the original nucleus. Each chromosome still consists of two sister chromatids. Just as seen in mitosis, cytokinesis overlaps with telophase to split the cell into two daughter cells, each containing half of the chromosomes of the parent cell. Meiosis II consists of another round of cell division. From the two daughter cells yielded in meiosis I, four daughter cells are created in meiosis II. Here we are following one of the two daughter cells. In prophase II, a spindle apparatus forms in both daughter cells, and each of the chromosomes are still composed of two chromatids. As seen before, metaphase comes after prophase. In metaphase II, chromosomes line up on the metaphase plate just as they did in meiosis I. Sister chromatids are not genetically identical due to crossing over that occurs in meiosis. Here, in anaphase II, the homologous sister chromatids separate and move away from each other on the metaphase plate. Finally, in telophase II, the nucleus in each cell, created in meiosis I, splits to form two new nuclei. In cytokinesis, the cytoplasm, along with the two new nuclei in each of the two daughter cells, splits to form four daughter cells. Once the four cells are formed, the two stages of meiosis are complete and the cell has completely gone through its cycle of division.